Hey peeps, welcome back to part 2 of Broken Sword 2. Right, ooh, and that's handy because just as we start again, the waiter is here again. So, we'll try and grab him. Hey you! Well, I'd like a cup of coffee if you don't mind. When I finish serving this gentleman. Well, you have. So, come on, get us a cup of coffee then. <sighs> Gonna have to wait now until he brings us the coffee. There we go. That wasn't so hard, was it? Un café. Thanks. Right. So we'll ask him about André. Do you know a guy called André Lobino? Oui. I know him. What of it? Well, I'm supposed to meet him here. Did I miss him? No. I have not seen him today. Mm-hmm. Do you know Professor Ubier? Have you heard of Professor Ubier? Oui. He married that actress, the little Dachshund. They used to come here. The nutty professor and the movie star. Oh, I Tell us more. If Ubier's wife was a movie star, how come I never heard of her? She was big in France. The world doesn't stop at Hollywood. Her stage name was Carol Climax. She died. In suspicious circumstances. Hmm. Really? How did Ubier's wife die? I heard he shot her. And got away with it? He had a good lawyer and a watertight alibi. Hmm. Why would an eminent public figure like Ubier risk everything for murder? He wouldn't be the first, would he? <laughs> Besides, people like him always get off. True. Do you know that man over there? I should think so. He's a regular customer. <laughs> oh, we don't need to ask him about the diet. <laughs> That's all. Thank you. Because... Here comes Andre. <laughs> well, well, this is a surprise, surely. <laughs> Nev. I wouldn't normally call you. But Nico's in trouble, Andre. Deep trouble. You have to help me find her. What? What have you dragged her into this time? Uh. It was you that recommended Professor Ubier as an expert on Mayan art. Now his butler has kidnapped her. And he tried to kill me. Every time she gets involved with you, there is trouble. Walking out on her was the best thing you could do. My father was dying, damn it. I had no choice. Well, she soon recovered once she went back to her old friends. Ooh. Drop it, Andre. Right now, Nico's in danger, and we have to work together. So, how can I help? Nico needed to speak to Ubier about a stone. Oh, you mean this stone? You have it? <laughs> so that's what all the trouble's about. Precisely. Nico told me to guard it with my life. Oh, it's worth more than that, surely. Oh, very funny. <laughs> What's funny is that your life really is on the line. What are you talking about? The stone is a Mayan artifact, dummy. And the guy who kidnapped Nico was from Central America. It was the stone they were after. Oh, my God. You mean I could be in danger, too? Yep. The pennies finally dropped. What do you suppose the carving on the stone means? I don't know. I haven't shown it to anyone. Why don't you just give it to me? I don't want your death on my conscience, Georges. Hmm. Where did Nico get the stone? It was sent to her. From where? Who? I'm not sure I should tell you. Oh, you should. It was something to do with smuggling. Hmm. Smuggling, eh? Why didn't Nico take the stone to Ubier? I don't know. Perhaps she suspected something like this would happen. Ooh. If she's been hurt, Andre, I'll break every bone in your body. <laughs> no, that's typical of you. Do you think I don't care what happens to Nicole? It occurred to me that slugs don't have bones to break. But I kept that thought to myself. <laughs> Tell me about your friend Ubier. He's more of a professional acquaintance than a friend. I see. So you don't really know him at all? No, I don't. Really? Does Ubier employ a guy from Central America? Maybe. I don't know. Wow. You're a mine of information today, Andre, aren't you? 
Feed me. Right, chocolate teapot. What can you tell me about this pot? South or Central American, I'd say. I have a friend who'd be able to tell you more. Where can I find this guy? He owns a gallery on the left bank. The Glees Gallery. Hmm. Well, that's handy because that's what we need to know. See you later. Goodbye, Georgie. Meanwhile. I've had enough of your games, Kala. Tell me what you've done with my stone. I thought your business was simply smuggling cocaine, Karzak. Why are you so interested in that stone? Either you tell me what I want to know, or Pablo here will make you talk. Okay. Well, I figured someone at the university would be able to help. So I had a word with one of my girlfriends, and she told me her boyfriend was a lecturer. I... I sent the stone to the Department of Ethnology. You know, I figured it was South American, so... You're not buying this, are you? That's enough! I don't have time to listen to your mindless prattle! We'll leave you to think it over. Come the morning, you'll be ready to talk. Hmm. Don't think I like this guy. Anyway, let's talk to the gendarme. Now what we want to ask him is about himself. Do you miss being a gendarme? <sighs> yes, of course I do. When I wore that uniform, I commanded the respect. Not anymore. Okay, now we've got him depressed, and what we want to do is, while he's got his hands over his face, nick his flask. I grabbed the flask and was struck by a powerful smell of absinthe, a highly potent and illegal alcoholic drink. It's important you do that with his hands over his face, or else he'll see you. Now we want to go to the Glee's gallery. Now I had another lead. I could either go back to Ubier's house, or visit the Glees Gallery. Now we've been to Ubier's house, so we want to go to the gallery. The Glees Gallery had style and class, but very few customers. Hmm. Well, let's go and find the guy who owns this place. It's not him. It's him. Are you Mr. Glees, the owner? Yes, sir. May I help you? <laughs> You're English? These days, one prefers to think of oneself as European. Uh, sure. Whatever you say. And how precisely may one assist you, sir? You may assist me quite a lot. What I really wanted to ask you about was a black stone. A black stone? Yeah. It's a Mayan artifact, about as big as my hand. No, sir. One doesn't get much call for black stones. If it's my own artifact you're interested in, I have some rather exquisite pots. Yeah, I noticed. I've already got one of those. So who's that guy supping wine like it's no tomorrow? Who's that guy over there? That's Mr. Lane, sir. The critic. I'm hoping he'll give the gallery a favorable write-up. One has to be so patient with these critics. Lure them in with the correct bait, watch for a bite, and play them like a fish. Well, he's certainly drinking like one. Mm. Go on then, let's quiz him about Ubier. Have you heard of Professor Ubier? Of course. His name is synonymous with Mayan art. A number of these artifacts were supplied by Ubier himself. You don't say. I suppose you have an import license for these relics? Of course. But that's not my problem, sir. The professor arranges all the shipping. We simply collect the items from the docks. Hmm. Can tell you Rubier's mate. Go on, we'll dare to ask him about his wife. Do you believe the story that Ubier murdered his wife? If it was true, who can blame him? She was an opportunist tramp. Well, that's what I heard. Really? You don't say. Have you seen any of Ubier's wife's films? Only one. Believe me, I was appalled, shocked, disgusted, and repulsed. Well. You sure got your money's worth. 
Last time I went to the movies, I wasn't even titillated. <laughs> uh, anyway, back to the task at hand. Talk about Ubie. Could you tell me which docks Professor Ubie uses to import the artifacts? Good God, no. I can't possibly reveal my commercial secrets. Of course not. Anyway, what about this... What about this pot? I'd like your opinion on this pot. Interesting. Would Sir be interested in selling the article? That depends. How much would you give me for it? Three hundred? Possible three twenty-five. I'll think about it. Hmm. Okay. What about the servants? You know anything about him? Do you get many Central American Indians in here? Uh, no, sir. Uh, this is Paris. <coughs> Central America is several thousand kilometers southwest of here, straight across the Atlantic Ocean and turn left. You can't miss it. Well, as it happens, <laughs> I saw some Central American Indians this very morning. Tourists, sir. Paris is full of them at this time of year. Ah. Oh, the great British tradition of sarcasm. Never fails, does it? Right. Well, now we know that this guy is drinking like there's no tomorrow, let's give him a little something extra. You want to put the absinthe in his glass when he tips his glass up. So, just like that. And he'll dip a bit in. Come on. There we go. I splashed a little absinthe into the glass and hoped he wouldn't notice the change of color. <laughs> did you put something in my drink? Uh, yeah, I did. Well, what do you think? Well, it's certainly an improvement over Gleese's wine. In fact, I could grow to like it. Really? Well, how about we give you some more then? Allow me. Ooh. Oh dear. Whoops. <laughs> oh dear. But now Gleeze is occupied, we'll sneak back here and have a look at his cases. Right. What's he got in here then? There was nothing in the case but styrofoam packing, but pasted on the side was the remains of a label. Really? Well, let's nab it then. Underneath the logo of a flying bird were the words Condor Transglobal Mars. The rest of the label was missing. It was beginning to make sense. Ubier had organized Nico's abduction. Ubie withdrew money from Marseille. Ubie was connected with Trans Global, who shipped their goods from a warehouse in Marseille. That's how the torn Trans Global label had once read. Marseille, not Mars. It wasn't much of a lead, but it was all I had. I set off immediately to catch the evening train. Good old clever George. And here we are, peeps. At the Marseille docks. It was almost dawn when I arrived in Marseille. I traced Condor Transglobal to a desolate dockside. Hmm. Well, let's approach the fence then. Let's see what happens. Friendly dog. What's the big idea? I don't know. The dog went berserk for no apparent reason. He's trained to do that. The idea is to deter any would-be intruder. Oh, I get it. Okay, I'm sorry. That's okay. Just remember, he's a trained attack dog. A killer. Ooh. Well then, peeps, we'll carry on with our search in the next video. See you there!